everyone, my name is Sharon. I am here doing my video about Ross. I wanted to do a little update for myself and for my future me as well as for people who are also in this to continue with the situation. So first semester went really well, second semester went really well, third semester was okay. I was on the brink. Um taking it as a learning experience and the aspect of I hated the situation, but it happens and because it happens, um you gotta learn from it. So two weeks I spent moping around in half in my house, um, not going outside, not seeing any of my friends or anything like that. And then I think the third week I got into the groove of things. I think um, one thing that really helped me, creating a schedule, waking up early. I started running in the morning instead of going to the gym. I found that going to the gym early in the morning would train me. So I was training for a marathon and that helped me, or I am training for a marathon and that's helped me be really disciplined. I also think a lot of the information that I'm learning this time around is a lot more interesting. I definitely do not only use Ross's material, now I use outside resources. I think Boot Camp, Words and Beyond, the first aid book have been a staple. And with that, it's been really helpful in learning what I know and what I don't know and giving me practice questions and things like that. Um, what else has been great? We have our first exam in a week or so, so we're gonna see how things go. Um, so let me tell you what I did last semester that wasn't successful versus what I'm doing this semester that I have found to be really successful. First thing, I don't necessarily study with groups of people that much anymore. So first semester, I barely study with people. Second semester, I never study with people. Third semester is when I opened my door to study with people. And I think for me, it didn't really allow me to know what I didn't know versus what I knew. We were bouncing off each other, which was great, phenomenal. But because we were bouncing off each other so much, I didn't really know what it was that I was lacking. Some areas I could identify, but other areas I couldn't because I was in a group setting. I don't want to only pawn, pawn off of being in a group setting. Another thing that didn't work well for me is those small points. Anyone who's going into Ross, those small points as in the quizzes, FAs, the um, TBLs, and those things like that, those are extra one to two points that can help um, help you pass or not. And that's that's the that's the one saving grace that they give students here. So take advantage of those points. I'm naturally an introvert and it's hard for me to go out. It takes me at least two, one to two days to recover. So I was going out a lot more last the third the last semester. And the one day I would go out, let's say on a Friday, I'd be so tired Saturday, even tired Saturday, and Sunday I'd be drained, and Monday I'd be getting back into things. And it was like a huge physical, weird physical toll on me. I don't understand. I have to figure that out. But so that was last semester. I also didn't have a schedule too, um, in the aspect of I didn't have a plan as to how I was going to tackle all the topics before the exam. So now this semester, I, oh, and the other thing last semester I didn't do was write down how many hours I'm actually studying, not how many hours I'm just, uh, not just sitting on the computer, acting like I'm studying for 30 minutes, and then another 30 minutes goes by and I haven't done anything, but it's been an hour total, but I, so I'm like, oh, I studied for an hour in actuality, let's say I stayed for 30 minutes because the other time I was, wasn't really studying. So I found out this semester, what's been really helpful was actually tallying how many hours I'm studying. This Apple Watch thing here has been amazing. I hide, I don't want to say hide my phone, but I put my phone, in, let's say, um, uh, in the other room or I turn it off and I'll have my watch that has my alarm and that will be on a timer. I don't put my timer on the movie reader because it's an extra tab or an extra app that's open and too many click throughs and sometimes um, I'll click to reset the alarm but it doesn't reset and just things like that. So I like having it on my phone so I can see. What I'll do is see and I can um, look how much time has gone by. I love that. So that's another thing I've done. Started tallying up how much time I'm actually studying versus thinking I've studied. Again, outside resources. Um, I use Anki, and Anki is not the only thing I use. I like to use outside resources because Anki mainly has only the lecture slides. 
my lecture slides doesn't give you all the information that you need to know, right? So I like using outside research to fill in those gaps, i.e. Rx. Love using Rx to fill in the gaps so that my school didn't teach or um, it wasn't related from the lectures. And then I'll also use the lectures to fill in the gaps that the outside resources might have missed or um, not emphasized. So that's been also been extremely helpful. I do, um, so another thing, I was focusing a lot on UWorld and not on RX. So there needed to be a balance because UWorld is like, you're ready for STEP, you should know that information and you're preparing for STEP. And I do you world, but I don't do it as rigorously as I was doing it before, before I would do 10, 20 questions. I found that that was helpful for me, it was great, but the thing is that there were small little, I would say elementary knowledge that I was missing that you world expected you to know. And it's like you would have to do more research or read their papers and stuff in order to understand that information. So I um, decided to do both. So I use Rx and I use UWorld and I use Rx to do um, uh, general practice questions throughout the day. And then I use UWorld in the evening when I'm tired and things like that. I'm lying, I haven't been doing as much this semester, but I'll do it, I'll integrate it more. Um, UWorld a lot in terms of assessing my knowledge um so we'll see how that goes my exam is uh, next week so um we'll see if it has been helpful i think it's been helpful i hope it's been helpful but follow along with me on this journey 